Okay, so I'm just taking a few minutes tonight to tell you about a, uh, a little uh, Python program I made that's uh, made a bit of a splash. Um, if any of you know Anaconda, the d Python distribution, they have a uh, graphics or a data visualization program called uh, Bokeh. And I'm an issue in Bokeh now. They want to fold this into Bokeh in uh, long-term projects. So I don't know if it'll ever happen. But it's nice they thought of me. So this is a library to make maps, SVG maps, a specific kind of maps called a cor cor choropleth. Now, a choropleth is a map where the different areas are, have a color depending on some sort of number. Like you could have a map of Canada with every province a different color, brighter red with the level of unemployment, things like that. The only problem with choropleths uh, is that places with very small areas, like if you had a map of Canada, Prince Edward Island, it's going to be very, it's not going to be easy to see. Whereas whatever the, uh, um, the unemployment is in the Northwest Territories, that'll be very, very visible on the map. So there are different ways of going about this. And uh, there was a bunch of people were tweeting solutions to this problem in May. And I was uh, briefly unemployed in May. I'm not anymore. Um, and so I used my spare time to put this together. So this is a, ignore all this, code, code, code. Uh, this, is the, this is the tutorial. OK. I don't know where the page down button is on a Mac. OK, well, so here's one possible uh, solution. You just make every, uh, every this is for the states, because you know they have more people, so I put them on the top. Um, every state is a different, uh, is, a, is a square. And so every, every uh, no s states with smaller areas are not emphasized. Um, and you can see this is a percent of the population <clears throat> that's moved or that's living in the same place as a year ago. So you can see in New England, people tend to stay the same place. Uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but people don't stay in the same place in Vegas, apparently. Nevada has the lowest, uh, has the highest turnover. And there's different uh, um, layouts you can have for that. Here's an interesting one. Uh, it's hexagons. Hexagons fit together a little nicer. Um, and there's the same thing. This is what we call, you know, this is a true choropleth. This is the kind of thing I was talking about where it's the actual map. And so my, uh, with just a few lines of code, my, uh, my script does that as well. Uh, this is an interesting one someone on Twitter came up with that I implemented. Every state is four hexagons. So you can see you can kind of get more of the shape of the United States, uh, but with uh, the areas with more states are a little more emphasized. Uh, moving right along. Here's every county in the United States. Don't worry, we're getting to Europe and Canada pretty soon. Here's Europe. Here's a regular old choropleth of Europe, and this is a percent of people who use the internet. You can see it's uh, very popular in Scandinavia. Um, and I made this hexagon map of Europe. It still, you know, vaguely resembles Europe, I think. And the good thing is, like, there are countries that you literally cannot see on this map. Andorra, uh, San Marino, Monaco, and they take up just as much space as all the other countries here. Which, you know, it might be nice to have things um, in proportion to their population instead of just equal for each area. And that's what brings me down to Canada. This is um, Canadian federal ridings, the new 338 federal ridings that are in place for this election for the first time. And the good thing about federal ridings is they're all pretty much the same population. So this becomes a map of Canada of each square equal population. And isn't it interesting? I think it's interesting. You can really see how much Southern Ontario contributes to uh, the total population of Canada. It's uh, like 35 to 40%. Uh, Quebec is still respectable, but of course, northern Quebec disappears entirely. Uh, and, look, and of course, the territories are just one blob each. So this is the, all the different ridings. You can put them together. If you just want to do things by province, you can put it together like this. I'm making one currently for, with hexagons, and boy, is it difficult. It's like fitting hexagons together. I've been doing it for a few days, and I'm about to go mad. <laughs> so that is all. Oh. Thank you.